In the next minutes we're gonna be checking out the new update to Dragon Fist, specifically Mixed Reality and I pretty much had to move to the living room because it has a requirement of bigger space than normal so this is my only chance to try it out even though it's not necessarily optimal for recording. The overall idea besides the pass through is pretty interesting because it's a combat game where you need to move a lot so how that would work in MR like I don't think we'll have a locomotion stick movement and seeing other of course simulated person in the same space as you could be a bit trippy <laughs> so we'll have to see <laughs> I love that the silhouette is actually kind of mixed okay <laughs> So we have an overlay of the game and then my place. <laughs> I wonder if the missions are actually customized for this. So let's just play something that I didn't do yet. Oh, I'm warm up, okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is kind of scary. <laughs> leave now, or I will make you leave. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get out of my house! She's so big! Okay, I need to calm down. Yeah, I'm winded too. Oh, wow, even the replay mode. Oof. Okay, I need to gather myself and think what have happened even. <laughs> this is a very different experience from the time I've done the overview, like much more physical and because it's a relatively small square that I created here, it's just intense. Maybe if you'd be in a gym room or in the park, then this could be a very interesting thing. At home, it very much depends on the space because depending on your freedom of movement, every single time it's gonna be something different. So you choose the opponent, not necessarily their location in MR. And I also think this replay perspective is completely not needed because then it just breaks your immersion. Let's maybe do something easier and focus on the actual moves rather than just flailing your arms around. Think is that the models are bigger than me and I'm already tall and when you look them in the eyes it's so off <laughs> like You really are shameless. Attacking the Imperial Army means certain death for you. Mate you're at my home. It's like I'm not even focusing on the combos, just pure survival. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> It's like the distance is so different. You asked for it. Interesting. <laughs> with your life. They think they're the boss here. Wait, you have a hat, it's cheating. Take this off. It's like you need to focus on your defenses. At least me in the space. There are no leg trackings too, that's a shame. My camera. <laughs> you didn't see that move. I'm done. <laughs> Overall, I just tired from only a couple minutes of gameplay, but this is a very impressive showcase of how mixed reality can just involve so many things at once and to transform a reasonably comfortable experience into something so intense that it changes the whole perspective of the game. There are certainly some stuff that are not needed, specifically for MR mode. Those environmental icons don't mean anything, as well as the replay mode kinda takes you away from the experience. And I feel like depending on your space, if you have a small one, then the enemy's moves could be less jittery and not go at you all the time, so you can have some briefer. But other than that, I really like the update and its potential pretty much in the future. If there would be like a mixed reality boxing game in the future, that would be so cool.